going on there folks earthmaster here jumping in with an update video on this january 16 2021 805 p.m west coast time and got a uh, another moderate sized earthquake coming into the live seismograph stations there being picked up on numerous stations there uh up there in eureka california region as well picking it up uh the main station down south in and around the mammoth lakes region also picking up this strong four pointer that just struck the Southern California region. I can show you that here as soon as this scrolls up here above the Japan seismograph station. Uh, rather large earthquake striking right there. See that? Pretty good sized earthquake. Let's go ahead and check out the specifics and dynamics of what's going on out here along the west coast. We got some major movement, major movement going out here uh, with some swarming going on north of Ridgecrest area and south of the Mount Whitney area. Uh, this goes along with the activity we seen yesterday up here along the border uh, a lot of new activity picking up here in nevada and just on the california side a pretty good in uh pretty good influx of after or not aftershocks but definitely some swarming going on there on the micro quake side this most recent quake here that just struck here 4.5 aromas california 7.9 kilometers downstream down below the earth just off the san andreas fault system here about a mile or so to the west followed up by a smaller quake a 2.1 uh some pretty significant movement folks this leads me to believe that we're looking at a potentially a uh, possibility of a larger quake within the area uh, just with with what's going on over here in nevada uh, with the new swarming going on the increase in activity down along the southern part of the San Andreas Fault. You guys see that right here? Check it out. We haven't really seen a whole lot of movement in the northern part of the, uh, or the central part, I should say, near the uh, San Andreas Fault system. That's this uh, specific red line right here. See that little line of activity there right along the southern part, the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault? That's a uh, kind of a worrisome type uh, scenario right there because uh it definitely kicking up in some uh, earthquakes there in the salton sea region down south here and also right along this uh, uh we just looks like we just had another one there 1.9 up in this region there oh, what is that coachella coachella hopefully i pronounced that correctly um so yeah be on guard folks there's definitely some major movement going on here in california region uh, and also that includes, I, I believe here in Nevada, since we've seen a major influx of major increase in activity there. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, specifics down here first with this swarming that's going on. You guys see that massive amount of swarming all of a sudden, right? All those quakes pretty much happening within the last hour. 15 earthquakes there kicking up. It all started with a 4.0, roughly at about 0.1 kilometers. These are extreme surface quakes here. Uh, largest aftershock so far includes uh, looks like a 3.8 and a 3.2. Um, could this be all that it's going to produce? Nah, I wouldn't say yes because if you look at the area that's kind of spread out on, it's about a, about a mile or so, um, pretty much in dimensions here, far as a uh, uh, north to south, east to west uh, dimensions, and. As always, right, as always, when we see this type of event, this type of swarming all of a sudden increase, along with prior swarms from yesterday, right, up here in Nevada, and now renew, now some new activity on the moderate side here, right, it, along the, along the uh, uh, San Andreas Fault System here, south of the bay, we're looking at potentially, like I mentioned, the uh, possibility of seeing a larger quake here, so I'm going to Go ahead and issue a uh, earthquake watch for this region here. Just be on guard. I believe uh, possibility we could see some further movement along the San Andreas fault system. Just the way things are kind of pinpointing at the moment. Um, aside from this 4.5 that just struck. Um, let's see what we got going on. Okay, so it looks like the USGS downgraded it to a 4.2, right? But uh, it's kind of odd because that earthquake's actually showed up on a seismograph station way up here to the north um so that's okay i mean they're they're gonna downgrade they're gonna upgrade they're gonna do what they want to do so we just got to go with the information that they put out taking a look at that 4.2 near romas california at a depth of 7.9 kilometers being felt by uh, looks like a few folks there 
checking out the did you fill out responses here from the usgs got numerous reports coming in there from uh, morgan hill salinas gilroy san jose felton and a bunch of other san jose zip codes there highly populated area you can see a uh, quite a bit of folks there already reporting this earthquake and it just struck just a couple minutes ago folks uh, right about the time i started this update video uh, the intensity according to these folks here go ahead and check that out right now looks like uh just on the light side looks like about a light this 4.2 is a little bit stronger than what uh, i felt uh, a few weeks ago when i had a uh, a three point uh, what was it three point six or three point eight strike right underneath my feet kind of jolted me up out of the bed uh, in the northern part of California so not a huge earthquake but you know you got to look at uh, what's going on I mean there's just way too much uh, movement going on here along this section of the uh, plate boundary the North Americans and the uh, uh, Pacific plate here definitely looking at uh, like I said good uh, possibility of some uh, uh, increase in earthquake activity here along the west coast <clears throat> far as uh let's see what what do we got for aftershocks here like i said this just kind of kicked up folks it's just uh all of a sudden we started getting that swarming going on and now this earthquake activity along the uh sandra's fault zone this is just uh what do we got here the creeping section kind of starts right around here but uh you know this area is not specifically due for a major earthquake but that's you know you can't really say it's not going to happen right you just look at past events past uh um uh event yeah basically past events have happened in the north right san francisco and the central part those those areas have seen some release of major in energy in the past uh 100 or two years 200 years or so the southern part, the southern branch, um, not really. Not a whole lot of uh, release of pressure over there. So this is the area that we're kind of looking at, you know, for that big one to hit California, right? We've been hearing about it for, it seems like, for eons. But, um, you know, eventually it's going to kick off. With all this activity taking a place, taking a place, taking place in and around it, um, you know, be on guard, folks. There's definitely some movement right around here on the west side and the east side of the uh, plate boundary. San Jacinto Fault area <coughs> area still seeing some some uh, activity there, but uh, you know you just gotta paint the picture here, paint the bigger picture, and look at the rest of the world here. There's not a whole lot of movement, but I'm not surprised with all this activity we're seeing on the west coast considering all the deep events that we've seen oh over the past few days there you know about a week or so uh, around the samoa in the uh indonesia region and the solomon islands remember all those big six pointers deep movement there i mean obviously there was some major plate adjustment going on on this side of the world which ultimately will affect right other portions of the plate uh, thousands of miles away so this could be something that we're uh, something that we could uh, you know we're definitely going to watch really closely here. I want to look at the activity here in Northern Cal. This is not near any volcanoes, but we did see a 2.9 near Viola and a 2.3 um, earlier today. Surface quaking right there, about a kilometer or so downstream, down below the Earth and some deeper movement uh 2.3 at the cascadia subduction zone right down dip downstream there we're looking at 31 kilometers so this is not a surface quake but rather or less you know underneath this surface here where the uh wandi fuca plate subducts there underneath the north american plate so we are seeing some movement there in that department taking a look at the uh let's go back over here to the trimmer map real quick and show you guys what's going on this migration, well, it's all the way up to the north now. Over the past couple days, we've seen a slow migration of trimmer from south to north here. Let's go ahead and uh, bring up yesterday's event there. A little bit down southern Oregon. Uh, we got to go back prior to that. There was none on that, but I know we had a pretty good uh, couple days there of uh, some activity in central Oregon, southern Oregon, and even going back further. Uh, we can see that movement 
kicking up there down south uh, into uh, northern California there pretty large cluster there so basically a, a, a migration of movement there from south to north with the uh, trimmer there in the Cascadia subduction zone so with all that going on and all this surface quaking going on and stream and uh well swarms kicking off be on guard folks i'm not even joking let's uh stay safe out there for sure and uh you know be on guard just in case something big does happen out there we can't ignore the facts of uh what's going on here whenever you got a lot of activity around this very sensitive area of the of the earth here when it comes to plate tectonics right you got to pay attention to the motion you know the earthquakes that are taking place in and around this region so be on guard okay um southern uh, south america region just seeing some uh, small quakes there and uh looks like the latest quake over here around the uh Venutu region solomon islands area 5.2 all this activity taking place prior, this activity taking place prior to the events there in California. Little cluster of uh, moderate sized quakes here in Japan. See a 4.6 right there in the south here in this little area of the world. Mariana Trench region. Seeing a uh, well, 4.6 but pretty deep earthquake, 345 kilometers down along that uh, section of this plate here. And uh, yeah, like I say, it, there's a whole lot of movement going on, folks. Just uh, be alert, stay on guard, have an earthquake plan if you uh, haven't already. But I'm sure a lot of my viewers have that plan in effect, or at least going to have it in effect uh, and have it handy when the big one does kick off out here. And it may not necessarily be the big one out here, but uh, you never know. I think every day we're getting closer to it. It's got to be. I don't believe this area of the plates are fused permanently. There's just no such thing as a, uh, a fusion. I guess there is, but uh, the longer this thing waits, the bigger it's going to be. That's for sure. Uh, far as what else we got here, I want to look at this activity up here in the north a little bit better in the Benton Range. This area kicked off um, earlier today and last night, about 39 earthquakes just within this region here satellite view uh, some of these are deeper earthquakes as well about 10 kilometers 12 kilometers down satellite view not going to show a whole lot out there this is all desert region um, no fracking operations that i could tell out here this this is definitely not any type of fracking operation uh, activity quakes like you would see in oklahoma or kansas texas region just uh you know, looking at these steps here, about 12 kilometers, 12. Some of these are pretty, uh, some of these are pretty uh, shallow as well. There's that 3.2 at uh, negative 0.9 kilometers. So just a whole bunch of unusual activity taking place tonight, folks, and over the last 24 hours. So be on guard. Uh, earthquake watch has been issued for this region of Southern California. Pretty much, uh, you know, West Coast region and uh, Nevada. Be on guard out there. Taking a look at the solar weather real quick. Just cover that uh, just quickly. Looking at potential for, uh, what do we got here? Well, may, they might see some auroras up there on the higher latitudes. It looks like 30% chance uh, uh, tonight, 40% uh, tomorrow. And uh, on the 19th, they're about 55% chance even with a 15% chance in the mid-latitude regions of uh, seeing the uh, auroras. Uh, when was this? This looks like uh, January 11th when that was updated. But uh, as far as their geomagnetic, three-day geomagnetic forecasts there, looking at potentially uh, some storming going on there in the, uh, in the uh, atmosphere and whatnot. So... Anyway, folks, be on guard, stay safe. Uh, we will uh, keep you folks updated. There we go. I was wondering what happened to all the earthquakes there. Got to show all the uh, microquakes to get the uh, full dynamics here of it. But be on guard, folks. Stay safe. Um, I think that's all I wanted to cover. If uh, we do see another larger quake or something bigger, 
than what's taking place right now. We will uh, do an update. We we'll jump in here on the live stream, and then uh, basically go from there. Yeah, I can't believe they dropped that. That was a 4.5, and then they dropped it down to a 4.2. But it showed up. There's the station there, Mammoth Lakes. And then it also showed up there, like I said, uh, around the Eureka area in Northern California. They're pretty significantly, too. Followed up by maybe a localized earthquake. So uh, definitely some movement along the uh, this plate boundary called the San Andreas Fault. Stay safe, everyone. We'll chat at you guys a little bit later.